It's been a little less than two weeks since the annual Dolores Hill bomb skateboarding event became an intense standoff with San Francisco police officers in riot gear moving in to disperse a crowd of hundreds of skateboarders who took over Dolores Street, spraying Muni streetcars and a bus with graffiti. Police arrested or cited more than 100 people, many of them juveniles. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena is here to walk you through the new video and new details it reveals. Luz. Yes, Emma and Dan, we've been waiting for SFPD to release this video. What we don't see, though, are people actually getting arrested. I spoke to a parent today who said several teenagers were detained who were not part of the event, among them her 15-year-old son. A week and a half after more than 100 people, including juveniles, were arrested or cited, today San Francisco police released body camera video of this unpermitted skateboarding event in the Mission District. Other police action can include the use of force, including the cards or less legal conditions. Their timeline points to officers setting up barricades around 4 p.m. on multiple streets around Dolores Park. Around 5.15 p.m., officers told skateboarders the event was not happening. The event's not going on? An hour later, officers reported fireworks being set off and reports of vandalism. At 7.07 p.m., a sergeant reported getting struck in the face by a female with a nail. And then a firework projectile landing close to bystanders and officers. Their body camera video shows multiple verbal warnings to the crowd to leave the area. Captured here, explosions, fireworks being thrown, bottles hitting officers, and at least one muni train vandalized. San Francisco police, you are all under arrest. Police arrested or cited 81 juveniles and 32 adults. He has charges of inciting a riot and conspiracy against him. And he was detained from 8.45 until 1 a.m. on the street. Um, some of that time he was uh, zip-tied. Lisa says her 15-year-old son was riding a scooter on his way to a friend's house at 8 p.m. when he and two other friends got caught up in the crowd and later detained. Did he know about the hill bomb? No, he did not. And actually, they, they asked some of the police what to do because there was a group of police there, so they asked, how do, where do we go? What should we do? And the police pointed for them to go you know, uh, uh, the other direction, and so they did, and then that's when the other riot um, police came forward and basically detained them. Today, SFPD's chief, Bill Scott, said they're still investigating. Look, I'll, I acknowledge that there could have been some people that just got, were in the, got caught up in the situation, but I, I will say this, and you'll hear this tonight, there were multiple, multiple warnings. Parents like Lisa heard charges against juveniles will be dismissed. We contacted San Francisco's Juvenile Probation Department. In a statement, they said they're awaiting completion of SFPD's investigation of the incident in order to determine what action may be taken on the youth's arrest. Civil rights attorney Rachel Letterman says she's in talks with at least 40 families to take further action against the city and commanders responsible for these detentions. We're considering filing a class action to challenge the unlawful arrests and detention of both the juveniles and uh, the young adults who were simply swept up. Now, out of the 32 cases of adults who were detained or arrested, one of my sources confirmed that at least one of the adult cases has been dismissed so far. In the newsroom, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News. Okay, more to come, obviously. Thanks, Luz, very much.